One of the reasons I began making the daguerreotypes, and in fact was inspired, was uh, because the first time I'd seen one, I was uh, impressed immediately by the eloquence of its uh, presentation of the world. It seemed like it created itself in some way. It, it just didn't seem like anybody could have made anything like this. It was like a force of nature in this case. It was remarkable. When you look at the image in a daguerreotype plate, what you see isn't a graphic representation of the world or an individual. What you see is a presence of that person. Uh, there's a transparency to the daguerreotype. The transparency of the medium uh, and the, the sense of space and volume that it presents can allow you to suspend your disbelief and enter the moment of the image. So when you look at a 19th century a daguerreotype of a street scene, it is extremely easy to feel yourself there. When I make an image on the street today, in a weird way, I'm sort of anticipating a viewer 150 years from now, because they'll be able to look in a daguerreotype and kind of span the gulf of time between them and me, and enter into the moment.